I claim that the so-called canned laughter, laughter which is part of the TV soundtrack, is I think the greatest contribution of the United States to world culture in the 20th century. Why? Are you aware how magic this effect is? Listen, I come home in the evening tired as a dog. I turn on TV, friends, fears, whatever. And I look at it, I don't laugh, I'm too tired. The TV set laughs. But I wonder if you are the same idiot as me, and I think I'm not alone here. The magic thing is that at the end of the show, I feel relaxed as if I have laughed. Literally, the TV is... So it's totally wrong, those who claim that the function of canned laughter is in a kind of a Pavlovian conditional reflex to trigger your laughter. No, it's more radical. It literally laughs for you. And what I claim is that the same goes for religious beliefs up to a great point today. We don't need to believe, we need another one to use the Lacanian terms subject supposed to believe. I claim that the so-called that the canned, so-called laughter, that canned laughter, laughter, which is part of the TV soundtrack, the TV soundtrack I think the greatest contribution of the United States to world culture, culture in the 20th century. Why? Are you aware how magic this effect is? Listen, I come home in the evening tired as a dog. So I turn on TV, friends, fears, whatever. And I look at it, I don't laugh, I'm too tired. The TV set laughs, set laughs. But I wonder if you are the same idiot as me. I think I'm not alone here. The magic thing is that at the end of the show, I feel relaxed as if I have laughed. Literally, the TV is so it's totally wrong. Those who claim that the function of canned laughter is a kind of a Pavlovian conditional reflex to trigger your laughter. No, it's more radical. It literally laughs for you. And for you. reflex to trigger your laughter. No, it's more radical. It literally laughs for you.